In this video, I'm going to solve practice problems on free fall. In the previous video, I introduced the concept of free fall and provided the different formulas to solve the problems. So let's see how they're used in this video. So it's a fairly simple problem. It states that an object is dropped from a building that is 6 meters tall. And there are two different questions. The first one is how long will it take the object to hit the ground? And what is the velocity of the object of the object when it hits the ground? So when you first read this problem, you think that there is missing data, but all the data is given. So let's see how that works. The building is stated to be six meters tall, which means that the height y is equal to six meters. The object is said to be dropped which means that it has an, an initial velocity of zero because the object is not being thrown away, it's just being dropped. And we also know that gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So the first problem is asking for the time it takes for the object to hit the ground. So we'll have to use the first formula, which stated that y is equal to y naught plus the initial velocity times time minus one half times gravity times time squared. And we can make this equation way simpler by canceling what we have. So we know that the initial velocity is zero, which means that all of this will be equal to zero. Then we also know that the initial height y naught is going to be 6 meters because that's where the object is first when it's dropped. And so the final height is going to be 0 because that's when the object hits the ground. So we can also cancel this and make it 0. But we can rearrange this equation and get that 1 half gt squared is equal to y naught. So now we want to rearrange to only get t. So the two, the one half goes multiplying to the other side. So we'll get that t is equal to the square root of two y naught over g. And that is going to mean that t is equal to the square root of 12 meters over 9.8 meters per second squared which is equal to 1.1 seconds. Now for the second question. The question was what is the velocity of the object when it hits the ground? And now we have one more value, which is time. So we could use the next formula, which stated that the final velocity, Vy or Vf, is equal to the initial velocity minus the gravity times time. We have gravity, we have time. We know that the initial velocity is zero. So we can say that the final velocity is going to be equal to negative gravity times time. That is simply negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 1.1 second. Seconds cancel with second squared we're going to get something in meters per second. And what we get is that the final velocity is 10.78 meters per second. So it's pretty much just understanding what values you have and what you can cancel out from each of the formulas. So make sure to read the problems very carefully and see what it says, like it dropped, meaning that the initial velocity is equal to zero. And that can help you a lot in these problems. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.